guys, so I decided to make a video today with Adrian. This is basically his proper channel debut because you've only ever really been in vlogs before. Pretty much. But here you are. Since I have announced that we have booked our flights for the basically indefinite adventure, I've been getting so many questions about where we're going, how long we're going for, who we've booked it through, all kinds of questions. So we thought we would sit down together and do this travel Q&A because Adrian is obviously coming with me and I thought it would be best for you to have both of us so that we can both answer the questions. Yeah. We're going to answer the questions together based on everywhere we've been so far. <laughs> So, yeah. Let's get to it. These are all questions that were asked on Instagram, so we'll put the handles and stuff at the bottom so you know who asked them. So the first question is Sam Gray Blog, who is my friend? And he said, "Who? what will you miss most about home while you're on your travels? P.S. You can say me. Obviously, I'm going to miss Sam. He's my friend. Um, I think... Can I answer this one first? Yeah. Because Adrian has technically been away for a year now, it's kind of different, but I think for me, um, I'm going to miss, like, the comfort of having my own house. Like... I think I'll struggle to not have things in a wardrobe and not have more things because obviously like being a blogger there's constantly stuff coming in and new things and better things and I can buy loads of stuff and put it on my blog whereas if we're travelling it's going to have to be very like minimalised which I think I'm going to struggle with at first. Yeah, I think it's pretty much just like friends, family and comfort zone <coughs> oh, yeah, which you that. miss the most. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah I don't know like I left South Africa for the first time at the start of this year or the start of last year, jeez, it's 2017 already. Um, yeah, you left it like exactly a year ago pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much a year ago. But yeah, it was definitely like friends, friends mainly and family. And then like I'm quite okay living out of a suitcase, which I have been doing for quite a while. Yeah, now. to be fair. But yeah, so I, I don't know, I just got used to it. But there is something about <coughs> being able to like put your stuff in a cupboard and yeah. Next question. So the next question is from Chase's channel and he said, what would you guys say is the best way to deal with the disagreement when you have to travel the world together? I'm going on a cruise in some with my girlfriend so it might come in handy. Well, okay, from a guy's perspective, because <laughs> he's obviously asking, um, I think on a cruise ship, now I work on yachts, so like I know what it's like to be at sea with someone and if you have a disagreement with someone, whether it be a friend, a girlfriend or something, there's like not really, well cruise ship is really big, so you do have cruise ship, you've got more yeah, space. Yeah, you do have places to go, but like I mean, technically you can't get away from that, per from that person, like for the whole duration of the trip. But yeah, so um, Chase, my advice to you would be to just like focus on compromise, like even if you think even Wait, if you we're, know, we're talking too much into this now. No, we're not talking too much into it because he needs to know what he's going to do. So, put it this way, if you get in like a disagreement or anything, just compromise. Even if you 100% know you're right, just agree to be wrong. Because <laughs> that's, that's the only way you're really going to get through it. And I think you have to know when to walk away as well. Because sometimes we argue because I can't let something drop. And we have to know when to like separate and just yeah. go our separate ways for five minutes and then come back. I pretty much just always try to walk out. But that doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, the next one, <laughs> Sinead Crow said, can you tell the story about when you met, about how you met? Um, well, met should we... Boat. Okay, so, <laughs> um, this is actually in a video which is going up on Valentine's Day, because that's basically the day we leave. So, we have pre-filmed a video for that day, which is kind of like based around all that kind of thing, but do you want to do a summarised version? Okay, so basically, um, I worked on yachts, so I still do work on yachts, so I was skipper of a small sailing yacht, um, in the Mediterranean uh, for this big company and Jess came on as a guest oh that sounds really bad but she basically came on she was invited as a blogger to basically blog about the trip and everything and um, yeah I really liked her and first time she she came um, we didn't really speak that much did we we had like a little friendly chat every now and then so we met at the beginning of summer we didn't really speak much in the summer and then at the end of summer we like had this but it will all be discussed in more detail in the next video. Ha ha. Next one, Faces of Robin said, what one place are you looking forward to visiting the most? Can I say mine first? Because I know yours is going to be the same. Yeah. Hawaii. Tahiti. Yeah. <laughs> like, Tahiti's we really want to visit, no, but we really want to visit, like, that kind of yeah. neck of the woods. And we also really want to do, like, Mauritius and stuff um, before the end of yeah, the year. Mal Maldives is one that we yeah. really want to go to. We're basically going to be chasing beaches. Chasing beaches. <laughs> I just want to go to Tahiti because of. No, everyone. She just smack your yes, head. I do, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, if um, you surf, I obviously want to go to Chapu, and that's like a dream. So yeah, that's the reason I want to oh. go there. Surfing, beaches, and sun. Right, the next question is from 
I'm really sorry, I don't know how to say this. Seema Kaka. I'm not sure how you say it, but it, it's here. Um, she's asked, will we be vlogging about our travels? So basically, we've started the weekly vlogs now, which are going... The first one goes live on Sunday at 12, and then from there you can watch us sort of getting ready for the travels and preparing everything and packing and sorting out all that kind of stuff and then when we go we're still going to keep the weekly vlogs going but we're going to have like artsy fancy vlogs that are going to go on Adrian's channel which he's sorting out at the moment. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, so on mine you'll get all the still weekly vlogs but we're going to have some fancy bits in there and then his will be all the really fancy artsy bits with no talking. So mine will be explaining where we are and yours will just be where we are in a fancy way. I suppose so. Basically. Yeah. Um, the next one is from Manon Gwyn. How did you plan the trip and where are you most excited to experience? So we've already kind of answered the second part of that, but how did we plan the trip? We basically, it was it was pretty spur of the moment kind of thing. We just decided, you know, where we're going. So yeah, first trip was South Africa. No, I'm saying since Jason and I started dating, I've just always wanted to show her like around the coastline and like Cape Town and Komiki and like Fishhook where I used to sit on the beach when I was little and no, you probably don't know these places but like just all up the coastline really all the way up to Mozambique to our holiday house in a place called Bartholomew Dias which is really really beautiful. So next one is from George J.E. Hill. Hi George. <laughs> and he said which way around the world are you going? <laughs> Wait no stop it. You... Technically down. <laughs> no we're going we're going east. Yeah, but we're going like down to South Africa and then we're going yeah, up to Greece England. and then we're going round that no, way. But look at here's England on the map. Can okay, no, I not for you guys? There's England on the map. Backwards. Down to South Africa, which is east. Up to Greece, which is more east. Is it? Well, Greece is like there. Indonesia, Thailand, Bali. <laughs> then like around to obviously yeah. Hawaii and America and all of that. But we don't plan on ever really settling it under to be fair. No wonder. Okay. The next one is from Ellie Car Ellie Car Rubbers X. I think that's how you say it. And she said, "How to book and plan your trip? The cheapest way to travel the world? Any website recommendations? Hotels, airlines, etc." Um, we haven't specifically booked or planned anything yet. So what we're doing is we're well, we've booked our flights. Yes, yeah, so we booked our flights, but our flights we did through Skyscanner, which is a really good website for flights. But one recommendation is to clear your browser history or your cookies. Um, because Skyscanner works on your cookies, so if you keep looking at the same kind of flights, then the prices end up going up. So clear your history and then it will make it the right price. Then for hotels and stuff, we just kind of use Google and just see what comes up. Or we use Airbnb. I'll leave a code down below that means you get some discount on your first booking. Um, but we use Airbnb a lot because it works out cheaper than hotels. So we're going to be using Airbnb and stuff in Cape Town and pretty much everywhere we go. But at the moment we haven't really booked much further than South Africa because we don't want to plan to leave at a certain time like we kind of want to take our time and then book a flight and stuff. I suppose in South Africa as well because it's where I'm from like I mean we've got holiday houses there as well. So it's cheaper for so, us yeah. really. The awesome thing what you should obviously try and do if you want to travel and go places try and go somewhere where you know you have like a friend or something or like a family member so you can eliminate the cost of or like travel with other people so that it yeah, makes it cheaper but much. hostels are a really good one to look at as well because hostels are so cheap and you always meet really good people there next one is from Pari Joshi and she said how are you going to budget your trip so this is kind of a tricky one because we're going out with a set amount of money but we are about 90% going to be working for the entire summer um, and it's a job where we won't have to be spending any money so hopefully the pot's going to keep growing and then once we've got that amount of money and if my blog keeps going like there's basically loads of factors that mean that we're technically still going to be working and earning money so we haven't really thought about budget yet but i think if we had to it'd probably be like yeah. as like, like depending on places i think yeah but budget wise it's, it's pretty much absolute necessities sort of thing yeah it's sort of just like nothing really luxury about the trip no. like it's sort of maybe just some like... i think sometimes we will like in cheap places yeah, if, it, if it's like, if you're getting like luxury for a good price then yeah, but other than that, like camping and like I think the it's gonna be like the car down and yeah. just chilling. I think we're not doing it like luxury hotels, so we're not going to be staying in like five star resorts everywhere we go, but most of the time we are going to be in like hostels and stuff, but then sometimes we are going to be in nicer things, because I said to Adrian, one thing I really want to do is make sure that we get a bit of luxury every now and then, so that we don't go stir crazy, but just depends where we are like yeah. Bali's really cheap so we'd get luxury there for so much cheaper than say like America or whatever so 
Yeah. yeah. The next question is from Made in the 1990s and she said, how long are you planning on being away for? Are you getting rid of your flat? So I actually rent a room in a flat and I have already got someone taking over this room when I leave so I'm not going to have the flat anymore. Um, although if I ever came back obviously I can just rent a room again. How long are we planning on going away for? We don't know forever, really. Forever. We want it to be forever. And the plan is that we can kind of make money off traveling or just kind of work our way around the world. So like work in ski chalets and work on boats and that kind of thing so that we're always traveling. But yeah, hopefully forever, if not at least a good few years, I think. Kind of just want to get a footstep on every square meter in the globe kind of thing. Yeah. That's, that's I think it'll be at least a couple of years. Yeah. At least. And if we run out of money, then we'll just end up some, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we'll do. Um, the very last question is from Custard365 who said what's the cheapest deal you found and where did you find it? So going back to what we just said, we haven't necessarily got um, like booked too much but Airbnb is where we found the cheapest places to stay in Cape Town and Skyscanner was where we found the best deal for flights so we got our flight to South Africa so we fly from London to Johannesburg and we stop at Abu Dhabi, is it Abu Dhabi? Yeah. Because yeah. it's Etihad. And then we're flying with Etihad and I think the flights cost us 6 90 for both of us and that was the cheapest by a good £40 each so that was obviously yeah. a really good deal and we booked it quite far in advance I guess so yeah. yeah. Sort of like that, that's that's one thing you got to do is, is know where you're going so that because obviously booking flights like long before is very helpful because you get like really good deals on it. And if there's like an airline deal as well yeah. Um, that's quite a good one because we managed to book some flights to yeah. Scotland for like four, 40 quid each or yeah. something stupid. Another thing on the budget thing is seriously don't fuss about airlines. Like you don't have to stick with one airline. Like I know a lot of people are like, no I only fly British Airways or this. Like seriously, all planes are planes. Like if you want to go somewhere and you want to go there and save money for it, fly with an airline budget that's not better. that as expensive because it's just a journey at the end of the day. Um, I mean, it might not be as luxurious, it might be not as comfortable, but or the food might not be as yeah. good, but at the end of the day you're still getting there, so. So yeah. Is there anything else you think we can answer to do with our travels? No. I think essentially we've answered everything. Um, if you didn't know, we are leaving on the 15th of February, which is 42 days from when we filmed this video. A bit scary. Pretty much. So we're not really planning, we're kind of travelling unlimited. Hopefully for a couple of years. We've booked South Africa. Um, for at least three months and then we are hopefully heading to the Med depending on certain things if not then I think we're gonna end up in like Bali or something we don't really know the next step but we want to take South Africa easy and just enjoy it and see everything and just chill out for a bit and then see where the world takes us yep. do you want to add anything to that? No. So that was our travel Q&A we really hope that you enjoyed this and found it to be useful or answer your questions. If we didn't answer your question, feel free to leave it down below or if you've thought of anything while we're filming we'll and answer I'll answer it. Yeah, we can answer it in a vlog or I can answer it in the comments, which yeah. is probably a bit easier. And yeah, I hope you like this video and I hope you're excited for the changes that are gonna come on the channel. I think I might do another video close to the time about like what to expect from Copper and stuff because obviously you guys are gonna be wondering what's gonna go on with my channel, but that might come in due time. And for now, I hope you enjoyed this one and Subscribe if you haven't already, leave it a thumbs up and a comment and we will see you in our next video which is the vlog coming on Sunday. Bye guys! <laughs>